Now let's check in on some of your thoughts on the big political news yesterday as Democrats unveiled their proposal to adjust Measure 110 during the upcoming short legislative session in Salem. The headline among their package of ideas is to recriminalize possession of drugs like meth and fentanyl. Under the proposal, possession would become a Class C misdemeanor, which is the least severe of the misdemeanors, by the way, but it still carries up to 30 days in jail and a potential fine of over $1,200. It's the same class of crime as petty theft. But before someone could be charged with that crime, police would need to offer a deflection program, which is basically behavioral health and drug treatment. But if the person says, thanks, no thanks, then the Class C misdemeanor can move forward. Democrats say recriminalizing possession would also help police get drugs off the streets because they would then have the authority to confiscate things like meth and fentanyl. That authority is murky at best when how 110 is currently written and practiced right now. Republicans have blasted the proposal, though, mostly focusing on how weak Class C misdemeanors are. Many of you have agreed. Joe wrote to us to say... The Measure 110 proposal does not go far enough. I'm a Democrat, but cannot get behind the mild Class C misdemeanor crap. Make use of drugs in public illegal with stiff enough penalties to deter people from doing it and to deter other homeless druggies from coming to the state because of lax laws. All they're doing is putting a Band-Aid on a gaping, bleeding gusher. They're not going for the actual problem, which in my opinion is homelessness. Until they deal with that, they're not really going <clears> to <throat> do anything but keep patching people up. I know a lot of people think drug addiction leads to homelessness. I'm much more in the camp that it's the other way around. You've got your life, you've got your job, you've got your home, and everything's going great, and you lose your job or whatever. Situations put you out on the street, and that's where you can succumb to drugs and get addicted. All right, thanks for your comments, Margie. Some of you agree with a viewer named Ed who's had enough of 110 altogether. I voted for 110, he writes, when I was younger and naive. Today's wreck of a city illustrates what a mistake that was. I'm for repeal. It seems a safe bet the Democrats won't even consider a full repeal during this session, but last night we did remind you of an effort by Max Williams. He's the former head of Oregon's prison system and a three-term lawmaker. He's spearheading the threat to start an initiative petition to ask voters to throw out Measure 110 this fall if the legislature does not go far enough with reforms. He says a Class C misdemeanor? Far too lenient. So his efforts to let voters have a say seems plausible, at least at this point. And that led to this voicemail. How do we get a hold of and support Max Williams in his effort to recall ballot measure 110? That's important to me. Please share it with us. You betcha. So for those of you who are interested in learning more about the potential ballot initiative, Williams Group has a website where you can get involved. The name is pretty easy to remember. FixBallotMeasure110.com. But despite all the noise from Republicans and others against this proposal, some of you think that 110 has not really gotten a fair shot due to a lack of available treatment. Darcy wrote in to say, how about we dedicate some resources to get people timely treatment to reduce drug use? Just jailing folks to make them detox the hard way is not treatment. Follow the whole measure and make resources available, then evaluate its success or failure. It has only been implemented halfway, and that's not working. Colette points, out to, points to the public defender shortage as well, writing in to say, yes, public drug use on our streets needs to be illegal, just like alcohol consumption. However, criminalizing drug use without first providing adequate treatment centers for addiction will not solve the problem, but will cause an already taxed indigent attorney shortage to increase and possibly break while penalizing the addict without allowing a viable alternative. Measure 110 reform is perhaps the biggest issue that we're going to be following during Oregon's upcoming legislative session, which gets underway in Salem in just a week and a half. That's on February 5th.